Hello! This is what happens when you don't see a cucumber buried under the leaves for several weeks. Um, I don't think we're going to eat this one. Uh, I don't think it's going to taste very good. But Wow, whopper. Anyway, I thought I would show the end product of the 12 volt power outlet I put in the truck of my car that I did the big long part one boring ass video on. So I'll keep this one brief. Those cabinets were hanging up in my kitchen above the uh, bar, but we decided to take them out to open up the room a little bit, and well, wow, it's like we gained floor space almost. Anyway, so here's the car. There's cat food, I think. I've been watching Buddy's cat for several months. Anyway. Sure, everybody that watched part one recognizes this little cheapy plug and our fuse set up there. I just got that zip tie or uh, tie wrapped on there. I didn't think to zip tie it, and then I was up uh, camping. I thought I ought to tie that thing down somehow in case I ain't on it too hard. But anyway, it's just uh, the power cables just jumped off of the uh, the amplifier here, the incoming power to that. Wow, I ought to get the scrap off this thing. It's been getting pretty beat up. It's been in here for a few years. But, uh, yeah, that's the end product. Um, I've used it a few times so far, filling up the air mattress. Um, it's it's pretty nice to, just, you know, have that thing right at the end of the vehicle. Don't have to worry about, you know, bending in and out of the cab, trying to get the thing in and out of the dash. So it's, it's definitely uh, proved itself helpful. So that's the end product. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.